Well, the Cleveland Public Library is executing a multi-year plan to reimagine and revitalize all the branches throughout the city, which in turn re-energizes the communities they serve. Now that three of the new branches have reopened, taxpayers are seeing the results. Carmen Blackwell takes a closer look in this week's Mission Possible report. With the snip of a ribbon. Welcome to the West Park branch. A neighborhood got its library back. It's amazing. It seems like every single person showed up today. This community's really missed us and we've really missed them. After years of remodeling, patrons finally got to see what's new at their library. We restored some of the um, original vaulted ceilings. We have more meeting spaces. The downstairs has been refinished, so it's a lot more space for the community to enjoy. This is just one step in grand plans redefining what libraries can be now and in the future. We are really excited to be fulfilling our promise to the community to reimagine all 27 of our neighborhood branches around the city. A levy passed in 2017 gave Cleveland Public Library $100 million for the project. For some buildings, that meant renovations, and for others, expansions. And in the case of Huff Branch, it meant an all-new location and campus. The library has prided itself on a five-star collection and five-star services, but understood something was missing. I think we realized over time that maybe our buildings were no longer quite five-star. And so this is really a once-in-a-generation opportunity um, to, again, reimagine our built infrastructure, the brick-and-mortar library. Patrons had input and asked for a living room concept with more community spaces. Bookshelves are now on casters, allowing the room to be easily reconfigured for larger events. And check these out, Amazon-style lockers in the vestibules. If someone needs to pick up an item um, from our collections, either before or open or after, we know people have different schedules. They're able to do that 24-7. At the West Park branch, improvements are a hit with patrons. I mean, it looks amazing. And I think they've maximized all of this space. It's really nice lighting, you know, a lot of different activities here now. We know technology will continue to change. We know the needs of the patrons we serve will continue to change. We know various communities will have different needs that evolve over time. And so we want buildings that are going to be flexible enough to anticipate and meet those needs. West Park is the third library to reopen. The Lorraine, Eastman, and Woodland campuses are next up. We are going to improve all 27 of our branches. So if your branch isn't under construction right now, we are going to get to it. It's been a long time coming, you know, going to different libraries. And this one's like only two minutes away from my house. So I'm very happy to be back here now. New buildings and reimagined renovated spaces create excitement in Cleveland's neighborhoods. And that translates into more people coming through their doors, which is exactly where Cleveland Public Library wants them. Carmen Blackwell, 3 News. Mm, power of a good book. That's right. A lot of folks have been doing a lot of reading recently. Oh, yeah. The weather, the winter, you know, everybody mm -hmm. kind of gets in and people make New Year's resolutions to start reading yes. some new books and whatnot. So best of luck. Yeah, lots of new options there, I'm mm -hmm. sure. They're ready for the crowds again. Yep. Yeah.